Hey guys, today it's just me because today we're going to be talking about something that you guys always wanted me to talk about my morning skincare routine. Before you start any skincare routine, it's very important to know what kind of skin you actually have. And it could be tricky for women because sometimes it changes throughout the years. Right now, I have a mixture of dry and oily skin. I know it's weird. In the summer, it gets really oily. Of course, in the winter, that's when it gets a little bit dry. And I actually have a little bit of eczema. My facialist, Shani Darden, who I absolutely love, she's the one who discovered it. Growing up, I just thought they were just like, you know, weird dry areas. She was like, Tamara, you actually have eczema, so it's really important that you start taking care of that. If you know me, you know that I love just trying different products. Throughout my life, I have tried so many different things, and it's okay to try because your skin will tell you if it likes it or not. First thing I use is the Is Clinical or IS Clinical Facial Wash. I love this because it literally gets all the makeup off your face. As you guys know, I do movies. I'm also in the daytime talk show, The Real. So I can wear a lot of makeup. It's really important that you get all of that stuff off. However, I wanted to keep on a little bit of my mascara that I have on my eyes because I know you guys have gone through this as well. Where you're tired at night, make sure you do wash your face, by the way, but you don't get all of your makeup off, especially around the eyes. So I discovered that coconut oil is the best thing for that after you've washed your face with the Is Clinical. So you just do this, right? It's so soft and smooth. I can't see. <laughs> and then just kind of like in one swipe, it gets away the extra residue of the eye makeup. And I like using coconut oil because you know it's organic, it's clean. So make sure you buy an organic and clean one. Well, I think organic and clean are kind of like, buy organic, then it's gonna be clean. <laughs> Speaking of coconut oil, tell me in the comments below how you use your coconut oil. Look how easy that was. And then you've got a nice like little glow around, around your eyes. I do go back and forth between some products. Shawnee Darden, as I mentioned, is my facialist. I love her. I love you, Shawnee. Anyways. She's killing it in the facialist game, in the facial game, as I say. She has her own line, it's called Shawnee Darden, and I use some of her products. One product is the Daily Cleansing Serum. This feels like butter when you put it on your face. It's awesome, and it gets rid of a lot of makeup as well. Next is the Is Clinical, IS Clinical, Vitamin C Serum. It's the Pro Heal Serum Advance. This is my secret, and I'm telling you guys this, okay? That's how much I love you. I am in love. Like, this thing is my boyfriend. There are tons of vitamin C serums out there, and they are great because they help give your skin that extra glow, and at the same time, they help get rid of fine lines and wrinkles, like my neck. This is 41 people. And I feel like if I start now, by the time I'm 60, people will be like, how old are you? And I'll be like, who, me? 20. So all you have to do is just put one or two drops in your palm. I'll just put three. Because they always like to look supple, glowy, and dewy. You can also concentrate it underneath your eyes. This is great for puffy under eyes or dark circles under the eyes. And kind of like just naturally massage it in there. Oh, this feels so good. And we can't forget about the neck. 
Oh Lord, yes, the neck. All right, see how glowy and dewy that looks? Next, we're gonna use the Dr. Nigma Serum One. I feel like you can never use enough serums because they always give you that glowy, dewy look. This one, in particular, helps plump your skin and hydrate your skin, so it never really looks dry. And as you can see, I'm going light to heavy with my products. This serum is just a little bit heavier than the vitamin C serum. And this serum, you can also use day and night. Now, just wanna give you guys a heads up. This one is a huge splurge for me. I think sometimes it's okay to treat yourself before you wreck yourself. This one is a lot different than the vitamin C one because it has plant stem cells. So it's gonna keep your skin very plump and hydrated. You use one or two drops of these because it's so expensive. I'm just gonna use one or two. <laughs> we wanna keep this for a long time. This one smells so yummy. Look at that skin, look at that. I don't even need foundation. And that's what a lot of people say. They're like, Tamara, do you have makeup on? And I'm like, nope. As you guys know, this product has plant cells in it. Are there any of the products that you guys use that have special ingredients that has helped your skin? I wanna know, just comment below. Next is a moisturizer. This is Shawnee's Daily Oil-Free Moisturizer. As I stated before, my skin sometimes can feel a little bit too you know, oily, and when you are putting a lot of serums on your face, you probably don't wanna to put too much oil or moisture on your face, because then, then you're just doing too much. You're overlaying too many products on your face. So you want it to be light, and Shawnee Darden's moisturizer is oil-free, which I absolutely love. So you're not gonna get these extra blemishes. This product right here is very, very, very important. I'm just gonna put it out there. When I was growing up, I thought because I was a woman of color, I didn't have to use sunblock because I thought, I'm not gonna burn. The sun loves me. Wrong. As you get older, it doesn't matter how dark you are, you still can get those little sunspots and you can still damage your skin from the sun. So it's really, really, really important that you use sunscreen. It doesn't matter how young you start. My daughter is wearing sunscreen right now. So realize if you start with the best skincare when you're younger, just imagine how you're gonna look when you're older. You don't have to wait until you are 40, 50, 60 to start an amazing skincare routine. Start now and wear your sunblock, please. This is Super Goop Play. The SPF is 50. My dermatologist does not play around with sunscreen. It's important to wear this every single day. This one is an oil-free sunscreen. They have those. It depends on how much moisture you have in your skin. You can buy that accordingly, so just make sure that you look on the, the labels. This has sunflower extract in it, and I like it because it's light. It's not heavy. Well, it's heavier than all of these products, <laughs> but it's a very light sunscreen. It doesn't clog my pores, I clog. <laughs> That is clog and pores together. Okay, I made a new word. It doesn't clog my pores, so it feels great. So even if you wanted to add makeup on top of this, it's gonna be fine. Your skin isn't gonna feel like it can't breathe. Now, I just learned something from Miss Jeannie Mai, one of my co-hosts of The Real. You guys, I forgot for years to put sunscreen on my neck. She told me that it's very, very important. Don't forget about this area, ladies. Don't wait until you're like 60 to say, oh, my neck, <laughs> I've neglected my neck. So now, my husband, he always plays with me. He always jokes with me because I'm always like, oh, always go up, ladies, up and out, up and out, like this. 
okay? Like this. Because once you hit a certain age, everything starts to like, even your tatas. Okay, we've talked about what I do on the outside for my daily skincare morning routine. I do think it's important to talk about what we put on our inside that can affect our skin. I know y'all are not gonna wanna hear this, but it's diet, 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 diet. I'll say it one more time. Diet, it's huge. I learned this the hard way. When I eat burgers, fries, lots of sugar, lots of ice cream, tons of dairy, it all shows up on my face. It's like boop, 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 Alcohol, alcohol, alcohol. And you guys know I love wine. But as I got older, you know, I had to reduce some of that alcohol drinking because it affects your face. Plant-based diets are huge for your skin. You will slowly but surely start to find your skin just naturally clearing up and glowing. I feel like foods are natural medicine for, for our bodies and we have to listen to that. I'm not purely vegetarian, as you guys know, but I think it's important to try to eat more plants. So add that a little bit more on your plate. The last one I think we've heard from the time you are like in kindergarten. Water, 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 water. Water, water, water! It's important that we hydrate. If you find yourself drinking less water, you will feel dehydrated, right? Well, guess what? Your face is dehydrated. When you're dry, that's when you start to crack. Like, you've seen like dry paint, like crack. That's what happens to your face. I'm a visual learner, so I just had to give you guys that. So it's really, really, really important that you guys drink a lot of water. And how you know how much water you're supposed to drink? Weigh yourself, yes, weigh yourself just once. I'm not telling you to do it every day. Don't close your eyes. <laughs> Lean over, see it, accept it. <laughs> and then divide that by two. That's how many ounces you're supposed to be drinking a day. I like to drink a gallon every day. I said I like, I'm trying, but I know for a fact that I at least drink 68 to like 74 ounces a day of water. And that's the reason why I have this glove. Let me know, please, what you guys use, and that works for you, because I believe sharing is caring. My daughter knows how to say that now. Let me know in the comments below, and make sure you subscribe to The Housley Life. I wanna do more, so please, let me know what you would like to see more of.